Hi, I'm Tim from Cooking Light. Chicken pot pie is classic comfort food and a great one-dish meal. People of all ages love it. But just because it's rich and saucy and crusty and filling doesn't mean it has to be off limits in a healthy diet. We've made over a traditional pot pie recipe, and I'm going to show you how with a few smart tweaks you can cut calories and fat in this dish. Now I've got my fat-free, less sodium chicken broth boiling in the pot. And to that, I'm going to add green peas, potato, sweet potato, celery root, parsnips, and pearl onions. We're going to cover it, reduce the heat, and let it simmer for about six minutes. We add in root vegetables because they bring a lovely sweet earthy note to the dish and they also help balance the fat from the puff pastry we're going to add later. Now that our vegetables have simmered for about six minutes, I'm going to add in the chicken and let that cook with the vegetables for about five minutes. Now what I'm doing here is I'm cooking the chicken and the vegetables in fat-free less sodium broth rather than sauteing them in fat which is going to help keep fat and calories in check in the dish. Now that the chicken and vegetables have cooked I'm going to remove them with a slotted spoon. There's no butter in this filling. Many traditional pot pie recipes use a white sauce that has butter and flour as a roux to thicken it. Instead, we make a slurry from fat-free milk and flour to thicken our broth mixture. Now I'm going to add the milk mixture into the broth. Now I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes or until it thickens, stirring it frequently. So the sauce is thick. I'm going to add in the chicken mixture, along with some parsley, thyme, and some salt and pepper. And then just stir it all together. And now I'll pour it into my baking dish. Because I don't use butter in the filling, and I use skim milk instead of whole milk, and I've got hearty, healthy root vegetables in the mix, I can allow myself the luxury of using a little bit of puff pastry to top the dish off. Puff pastry is going to give you a flaky, buttery topping that you can't get with any other kind of crust. Now I'm going to get my puff pastry on top of the dish and seal it in around the edges. I'm going to put a few slits in the crust to allow steam to escape while it bakes. Now we've got the dish on a foil lined baking sheet just in case there's any overflow in the oven. It's going to go into the oven at 400 for 16 minutes. So you can see we've got this amazing pot pie here with this absolutely gorgeous golden puff pastry crust. And we've cut calories and sodium by about 75%, fat by more than 85%, and saturated fat by about 96% while still delivering a satisfying and savory pot pie. For more great recipes, pick up a copy of Cooking Light and visit cookinglight.com.